Hey guys, it's Archie Luxury on the Archie Luxury and the Paul Pluter channel. Today, guys, I want to talk papers, papers. And I got to tell you guys, there are a lot of nasty fuckers out there. Oh, before we start that, I invented the wristwatch check. Let's do a wristwatch check. I'm wearing an undone. Why? I haven't decided which watch I want to wear today. I'm still thinking so i put a temporary i put a temp a temp on my wrist there now i gotta tell you guys i've been involved in a number of facebook groups and forums and and uh i i i i get kicked off i get booted off most of them because they are dicks they are really fucking dicks and i i just love the way they they really come out blazing you know, just because I run a highly successful YouTube channel, I am the guru's guru. Uh, one guy, uh, his name was David. I'm not going to name his last name. He goes, good for calling out poor Pluto's disgusting um, pimp blue service redial on his gold and stainless Daytona that nobody in their right mind would ever buy. As I've always said, Pluto buys poorly. Why are your Rolex papers... Why, where are your Rolex papers on any of your alleged Rolex watches? Poor, poor Pluto does not have any Rolex papers ever. And I'm beginning to think all of Pluto's alleged Rolex watches are shit Asian fakes. Jeez. Isn't that so sweet? What a nasty fuck! Instead of coming to me and asking me, I would answer it, but uh, actually I'd ask him for money because I don't answer shit for free. And another jerk off! Another total jerk by the name of James comes in. He goes, David, I'm not going as far as saying his watches are fake. Not having papers is weird to me, especially when you're when we are talking modernish pieces. Uh, then, then Dick Nose comes out again. David talking to James. Paul Pluto never ever having papers on his Rolex is not a coincidence. I've discussed this with Clyde and he concurs with my suspicions. Yeah, Clyde is no fucking mate of mine. Clyde is no mate of mine. The only reason I bring him on the channel is for ratings. Ratings, that's right. Ratings gold. It's the only reason I do these things is for ratings. He's a cunt. Clyde is a cunt. He's not my fucking friend. No, he's a jerk. The guy, the guy really, or well, I wouldn't say he's a jerk. He's just, um, he's not a jerk. Clyde's not a jerk. He's just, he's not the sort of friend who would back you up. Let's just say that. He's not the sort of friend who would <coughs> back you up in times of need. That's the best way to put it. So uh, I'm disappointed. But anyhow, let's discuss this. Papers. Papers seems to be so important. So why don't we start at the top? Let me get my, my uh, just getting out from my cupboard. Let's get some papers out. Let's let's uh, have a show and tell. So what do we got here? What do we got? Well, let's start at the top. Patek fucking Philippe. Patek Philippe. This is my grand classique from Patek Philippe. What does it have? What the fuck is that shithead? What the fuck is that shithead? Ah, those are Patek papers. Yes, indeed, sir. My Patek Philippe has fucking papers. Not only does it have full Patek papers, but I recently got it serviced. I got it serviced by Patek Philippe. And guess what? I have got service papers. Look at that. Service papers. Uh, this is service papers from Patek in Hong Kong. Service, service papers. It's got my serial number. My, um, now I like to keep <coughs> all the paperwork 
I have there. Uh, I've also got, I've also got the original invoice. This is when I bought it from Vintage Watch Co. This is the the invoice as such. I've got the invoice for the Patek. The invoice. Uh, I've got the papers when I logged it in for service. I've got the final receipt. And of course, I have got the certificate of origin. So my Patek Philippe, the Grand Classic from Patek Philippe, is, um, how would you put it, fuckers? It, uh, it has papers and full papers and service manufacture papers as well. Patek Philippe. Okay, what other pieces do I have there? I've also got my <coughs> I might I might I'll just I've got my my Jager La Culture Reverso. No, let's fuck it. Let's bring it all out. You guys are getting funny. Oh, he doesn't show me. Oh, no, no, no. Like a bunch of girls in a uh, a primary school yard. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Uh, let's just get this out. Hang on, boys. Hang on. Da -da -da -da. Just getting it out. Da -da -da -da. Okie dokie. So my Reverso. My Reverso Grand Date. Reverso Grand Date. Uh, let's have a look. Da -da -da -da. This is the box. And I have actually got... What have I got? I got the books. The books, the Reverso books there. And, ah, oh, what's this, Archie? Certificate. This here is Certificate, the guarantee. And, uh, yeah, I got papers. I've got papers for that piece. Yes, I do. I have full papers. I've also got at the time of sale, there was a uh, evaluation because he bought it new. He got a certificate of valuation uh, from the store as well. So there we go. That's uh, my Reverso. My Zenith, which I bought off Scotty. Uh, it has box. It's got books. No papers. That's correct. It, it came from Japan. No papers. There we go. I own up. One of my watches so far has no papers. I... I I, I, yes, yes, sometimes I have papers, sometimes I don't. Let's go into the Rolex. Let's go into the Rolex. 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 Let's go into Rolex. So, uh, let's just pick a box, pick a box. Da 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 da. And here we go. This is my Submarina, the two tone bluesy. Lovely piece. So, <clears throat> for this piece here, I've actually got the hang tags. And uh, the most important one, of course, is this one here, which has the serial number on it. Uh, it's got the serial number. I've got paper. So that's, that's that there. Now, do I have papers? Does Archie have papers? Let's have a look. I've got booklets. Booklets. Booklets are good. And, oh, Archie. Yes, look at this. I've got papers look at that it tells me this here this particular submarina uh two-tone bluesy it's got the serial number it tells you it's a v serial number and my one was actually purchased from langford's in australia that's a brisbane dealer a brisbane dealer langford's who i actually don't hate langford's is okay uh there you go so my two-tone bluesy it has has full box and papers you would call that a full set fuckers a full set full set uh let's go on to the next heavy hitting rolex my heavy hitting rolex winner winner chicken fucking dinner winner winner chicken fucking dinner here we go, da 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 the two-tone Daytona. Wow, let's have a look inside this box. So, uh, let's have a look. Ooh, 
<laughs> two-tone Daytona. And we've got a, a five-year service dongle as well. Okay. Okay, Arch, let's let's um let's go in further and discuss this further. So what do we have here? Well, we've got some paperwork. So <coughs> I've got a I've got a ah, oh, very interesting. We've got a service receipt, a full service receipt from Rolex, which tells me that uh, this watch here was serviced September, 14th of September 2017. Uh, it, it tells me the serial number, it tells me the date, uh, it tells me the dial was changed. So, so it's not a redial, you stupid inept fuck. It's not a redial, it's a replacement dial. And it says there it had a replacement dial and hands. And uh, hmm. so there we go. That's the Rolex service receipt. And uh, so this piece here, this piece here is also got ah, a service card. This is papers, service papers. Look at that. It tells you when it was serviced wow this is a <coughs> service so it's got service papers uh i've also got a full receipt this piece here it came from european watch gallery there you go came from european watch gallery so i've got the receipt for this piece uh yeah, and I've got full, it's got service papers there. Okay, it's fully overhauled by Rolex in 2017. Let's keep going, keep going, keep going, Arch. We want to see them all. Ah, uh, what have we got next? Then we've got my, ah, look at this here. This is the, the Explorer 1. We've got full, 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 full dongoloid. And hang tag. It's even got the price on the back. 8250 Five-year dongoloid there. We open it up. Full papers. I've got all the booklets. Ah, look at this here. And what do we got here? It's the card. This is papers. And it was bought from Watches of Switzerland in Perth, Australia. This is an Australian watch. Watches of Switzerland. And it's uh, it tells you that's there you go. Well, that's simple. That is papers. I've actually got another booklet which is in the inner box because it doesn't fit inside this one here. So that's this is what you'd call a full set. Full set, fuckers. Full set. <laughs> so that's that's that one. That's a that's a that's a full a full set, fuckers. Full set. Um, the next one. Let's pull the next one out. Oh, look at this. I've got my Milgauss. The Milgauss, uh, no, no papers, no papers. What it does have, however, is the hang tag. <coughs> and this has also got the serial number on it. I bought it used from Sydney Watch Exchange and uh, it didn't have papers. Is it crucial? Look, I prefer to have papers. Yes, I do. However, it didn't. It was a keenly, it was a nice condition piece. And I was, was happy to buy it without papers. And finally, my Explorer 2, which I've had for many, many years. Uh, you know, it didn't have papers either. I got this from a Melbourne dealer. Uh, actually, Brian, Brian picked it up for me. Brian picked it up. I think it came from Chris Galea. Uh, or did it come from Lewis? Anyhow, it came from a dealer in Melbourne, and uh, beautiful piece. No, no, no papers. No box. No, I've got the box. Got a box. It came. I got a box, but no papers. No papers. Okay. Well, that's 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 just how it is. It is. So, um, all of my pieces do not have papers. Do all of them have papers? Look. I generally prefer to have papers. I do. I prefer to have papers. However, it depends on the deal. 
I'm not going to say no if it doesn't have papers. I'm not going to say no. I'm going to, you know, I'm, I, <coughs> I think you've got to be sensible about these things and say, hey, has it got papers or not? You know, papers is worth a bit. Yes, I, I, I think papers in Rolex can be worth a thousand dollars, Aussie, thousand, maybe fifteen hundred. On certain models, it adds a lot more, like a Daytona, it really hurts it. Uh, I wish my Daytona did have papers, but I've got the next best thing, a full overhaul by Rolex. And when some dick says my dial is redone, no, it was a swap by Rolex. And is it a service dial? Well, this, this issue mainly occurs when you've got a vintage classic piece with tritium and you change it to Luminova. Considering that this was always a Luminova piece and it's been swapped with a Luminova original Rolex dial, what's the fucking big deal? What is the big deal? And why, why are people even bringing this topic up? Because they're fucking cunts, see? They get jealous. Oh, wah, wah. They get jealous. They get jealous. They think, oh, oh, they want to pull you down a peg. You know, they, and, and it, I wouldn't mind being pulled down a peg if it had truth. If they said, Rolex is crass. Panic is, you know, oh, I think, well, he's probably right. Uh, but when they say, it's fake, and you think, is it fake? You know, um, it's, they're fake? Are they fake? You tell me. You tell me if they're fake or not. Um, they're real. They're fucking real. I'm, I'm on the pontiff for fuck's sake. I'm the pontiff. They're real. Real deal, fuckers. Real deal. So, um, I, I don't know why people are so fucking stupid, hung up on criticizing. They haven't even got the full information. <coughs> Would I buy a piece without papers? Yes. Yes. No problem. Do I prefer it with papers? I do. I do. I pay a premium for papers. But, you know, it, it's one of these things. Sometimes you get them. Sometimes you don't. Um, it's all to do with the deal. How good is the deal? And I I love my watches. I, I don't want to be someone who says it must have papers. I, I, I'm a bit more liberal in that there. So, you know, that's that's how, how I've come to it. So... People criticize you. They always want to jab you, jab you. Nasty comment. Jab, instead of saying, hey, fucking nice watch. You're a fuckhead. They don't say, they just, they want to jab you. This is it. They constantly jab you. They want to have a go. They're alpha males. Their feelings are hurt because they're losers. They don't have expensive um, watches. They want to criticize you. Um, I gotta be honest with you, um, you've gotta be, you've gotta be careful, you've gotta be careful, and you have to be very, very mindful that most people are cunts, they're not your friends, they're not your friends, they're cunts, they want to jab you, they want to pull you down, they want to say nasty things, that's just how the world works. It's a nasty planet, fuckers. Um, people are negative. They, there's a lot of misery has many friends. Misery has many friends. I'm Paul Pluto. This has been an exclusive for the Archie Luxury and the Paul Pluto channel. Tell me what you fuckeroonies think. Tell me what you fuckeroonies think. Like, subscribe, and tell your circle jerking friends. Ciao, fuckers. Hi guys, Paul Pluter, the method actor who plays Archibald Chesterfield III. Guys, I want to tell you this is so important. Guys, I depend on my Patreon supporters. Just this week, I used my Patreon funds to get myself a fantastic, lightweight, gimbal travel camera. And I just want to say thank you. This was made possible because of my Patreons. The Patreons, they made this purchase possible. And it's, you know, a piece of equipment like this is $600, plus I need a few memory cards. It's such an expensive business. 
Guys, if you haven't sponsored me on Patreon, please do so. Look in the description for this video here. It'll tell you ways you can help me. <coughs> Guys, help me stay full time on YouTube making videos. By helping me on Patreon, you send a small amount each month to me to keep me enthused and making videos. I can buy equipment like this little gimbal camera. Guys, come on, help me. Help me a lot. Help me. Help me very much. So, please, cause, guys, I wanna. I want your help. I need help to make quality content. And I gotta be honest with you. If I didn't have your help, it's not gonna be much good, guys. It's not going to be much good. I need your help to buy equipment and to uh, to do things. So, guys, sponsor me on Patreon. And I'll be here for you. That's right. I'll be here for you. Please, guys, help me on Patreon. See you later. Hey, guys. Archie Luxury. Pick a box, pick a box, pick a box, pick a box. What does your wristwatch box say about you? Let's have a look here. What do we got? Pick a box, pick a box, pick a box. Pick a box, pick a box. Which one would you choose? Did you choose the big wooden boxes, the blue box, the green, or a red box, or a fancy box? Which box would you pick? Pick a box, pick a box, pick a box, pick a box, fuckers. Which box would you pick? <laughs>